Okay, YouTubers and anti-nuke activists and indeed citizens of planet Earth who are concerned about radiation. Okay, I want to investigate here and you can help me out on this one. This might not be the exact map, but there's a couple of these maps circulating with the NOAA logo at the top showing radiation in the Pacific. And the thing is, when I first saw these, I thought to myself, this is, I'm, I'm very skeptical because I know the plume modeling and the maps, that stuff is carefully hidden away. You don't get to see that. And what I did was to go on to the NOAA website because if they, you know, if it's legitimate, there'll be an, a place here I can go to to take a look at it and screen capture it or copy it from here. So here we are at USA.gov. This is NOAA, National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And we're searching by keyword Pacific Radiation. And you just get a couple come back here. One says U.S. seafood safe and unaffected by radiation. Imagine that. Imagine that. And then down here is a, oh, where was it? There's one on the tsunami. Japan tsunami debris. Uh, there's no reason to avoid beaches. Radiation experts believe it is highly unlikely any debris is radioactive. <laughs> wow. That's okay. That in and of itself is incredible. But again, no plume radiation. Let's check for plume radiation map because technically that's what we're looking for is a Pacific radiation map. Again, we come back and there's nothing of the kind that I can find in any case. And maybe I'm missing it or um, I'm not doing something right here. But in any case, from my uh, investigation I'm unable to find it on the NOAA site now my worry is it's a bit of uh, disinformation that is purposefully released by the nuclear industry they they know people are want to know about what's going on in the Pacific so they release a bogus map with a, a logo that's not from the NOAA they allow it to be widely circulated and their shills and trolls will come out and promote it and then they'll come back and debunk it remember this happened with Sandy Hook and the uh, stuff that was backdated okay people promoted that went all over it and then some trolls came out on YouTube and said no backdating stuff you can do it electronically you can go back and put the date and make the date anything you want they've proven it and so it's called a honey trap a lot of people were hung out to dry and made to look like fools who fell for it and promoted for it and I'm wondering for if this is the same thing and then they'll debunk it and you look like you don't know what you're talking about and in the meantime for the people that don't know much about radiation then they say hey well this you know who do who can I believe anyway just going about my business nobody really knows right and so it's very effective at mudding the waters this type of disinformation so if anyone can show me a link on NOAA where this map or a map similar to this where their logo officially from them exists please let me know but until now I can't find it my suspicions are uh, this is disinformation that is purposefully uh, being uh, widely disseminated amongst the uh, on the internet okay Patrick Penry over and out Seems to me.